Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out a new gadget and that gadget is actually part of a, um, a Schneider M221, I keep forgetting the yeah, M221 controller. This here, I was coming across, I was like, oh, interesting. So this, this one plugs on the plugs into serial port for our M221 uh, Schneider Electrics PLC. And there's actually quite a bit you can do. If, I'm not sure you watched the previous videos, and uh, I did mention that there is a, a section inside the uh, a uh, uh, eco structure uh, software. It says display on it, and that section is pretty much reserved for this guy itself. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have a look at how to connect this guy to your HMI, and what exactly you can do. And uh, it is quite a lot. There's quite a lot that uh, uh, you, you can do with it. And for the price you're paying for this, I think it's about, again, depending where you're buying from, it's roughly about 40, 50 quid here in UK. I'm not sure how much is everywhere else, but it gives you quite a quite a, quite a lot of functionality. Obviously it's nowhere near as, 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 as HMI would be, which we're gonna be checking out very soon. But uh, yeah, it is it is pretty good a gadget. And I, I thought, you know, it's worthy to uh, check it out and I'll show you guys what it's all about. So yeah. That's what we can do today. So, uh, ending rate the manuals, Nick's like, I believe it can be for any possible way. It's going to be in the description below. So, do check it out. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we uh, 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 get started to uh, get jump on the computer and have a look at how to set this up, uh, we are using a, a standard Ethernet cable. Uh, obviously, it's not communicating via the Ethernet, it's communicating with the bus. But uh, the, the, the pins are like for like, uh, there's two pins in it, as a four, I think it's four and a five. Again, you can find in the manual how to get your cable going as well. Uh, but because it's like for like pins, it should work straight away with just a standard Ethernet cable. So uh, uh, if you plug it in for the first time, generally, generally, because I can, I can see I've been using this screen already with this uh, PLC, even though I wiped the memory, for whatever reason, it still memorizes and is able to connect to it. But again, I've got no password or anything to get into it, because if you look at it in here, if you go, let's say, even to data table, if I want to log in, I don't, there's nothing I can do, because the controller, needs to be set up within uh, the um, eco structure as well in, in, a, in actual software itself. So yeah, so uh, and uh, you can okay, you can only communicate via the serial port, first serial port, this guy in here, this 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 literally that area. As you can see, I removed the cover in here because I'm gonna be putting a, another serial port in there for later on to add my drive back in. So, uh, so, I, so yeah, I do make sure that you only communicate with that serial port and don't even try to do with this one because they ain't gonna work. So, uh, so yeah, uh, so I haven't said that. So look, we can jump, jump on the laptop, have a look at what can we do within, uh, within the software. Eh, we can go from there. Here we are. So uh, we're gonna continue uh, from the previous videos. Not sure you guys best job previous videos, but this is the setup we are using. And uh, well, the first thing we need to do, we need to come down to a, a serial line in here and pretty much tell the serial line uh, what we're gonna communicate communicating with. So we're gonna say is a, a uh, as you can see in here, the Schneider has added their own part number in there, which is a TMH2JBD. So I'll select that one and apply. Once, we, once we've done that, as you can see in here, it pops up as a display in here, and that's pretty much just telling you what is going to be communicating there. So, uh, and it shows pretty much the address range as well. So, uh, as you can see in here right now, we have uh, in this window now uh, more or less populated, uh, as before it wasn't, because uh, it wasn't set up. So, and from there on, what you can do, you can do uh, several things. And uh, first, once you want to set the general properties, where you can set date format, time format, and blah, blah. We don't want password for this purpose, so we can remove that. That. So if you leave the password on, it will constantly will be a uh, uh, asking you for a password every time you want to go into some of the functions. But the password is very good to have because quite a lot of things you can do in there. You can really mess up your system if somebody unauthorized goes in and knows what he's doing and then really can mess things up. So it's good to have password, but for us, we're not going to have the password. And you can this is pretty much you can start set up your password. So first thing we're going to do in here, as you can see in there, this is the two two uh, message windows we have in here. One is the general per, uh, general properties. What we're going to do in general properties, we're going to we're going to start our belt. As you can see, we've got a little belt down there. We're going to start our belt with the F1 and F2. F1 will be start. F2 is going to be stop. So just to give you an idea what you can do with the keys and things like that, you can see how you have R2 and R3 keys as well. So uh, those can be used in 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 uh, alarms and things like that. So for here, as you can see, we got a program in here. We got M1 will activate Q0.0. 
So what we're going to do in the display, we're going to go into F1 key and you can assign pretty much anything to this F1 key as long as there is address, it will uh, pretty much uh, go to it or you can as you can see here you have a uh, functions or navigation so we're going to go for the functions and we're going to do the write a value so that's what we're going to do as you can see you can force unforce increment and none so we're just going to write the value uh, mm, yeah we're going to write the value because so actually you can use force and unforce yeah so for time being we're going to do a uh, percent so basically you tell them what address you want me to write the value to and what so we can say m0 and you're going to get what value? 1. Because this boolean is 0 to 1. Uh, 0 off, zero, 1 on. So uh, i am done that. So we need to turn off as well. Otherwise it's going to be staying on all the time. So function key, write the value. We're going to say percent m1. Uh, and did I did I put that uh, just be a 0? Because you want to change the value of 0. Did I? It's not 0, it's m1 in it. Just remember that is M1. Double check, double check. Yes, it is. So now we'll be able to uh, turn to belt on and off with uh, F1 and F2 keys and pretty much give you an idea what you can do with it. So, guys, play with it. It is absolutely fun. And from there on, let's jump into setup. In setup, you can start setting up your alarms and everything else you want to uh, uh, be activated. So, every time any bit can, will, can come on, it can display alarms. Let's say you have certain bits within your system. You say, well, I want to know when that when that bit is on. I want them to display alarm or do whatever else in the screen to, and explain whoever's trying to do it to 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 fault find it. Uh, explain what to do. So what we can do in here, we can create a message. So we're gonna say in here variable. We can say what bit. So what variable? We're gonna say uh, when Q. Uh, not as a percent Q, which is our output. 0.0, 0 comes on, give us a message, hello YouTube, how about that, once we're happy with that, so we're just going to add it, boom, and now every time the Q 0, 0 comes on, it will display this hello YouTube in our message window, just like that, right? You can say in here. And from there on, if you want to add, a, uh, you can add the keys to your R1 and R2. What R1 and R2 is because now you can send, you can say, let's say you say, I want R1 uh, uh, send a variable into a, I don't know, M, uh, whatever the bit. And you can, you can do it to create the resets and blah, 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 blah. So uh, you can just use it that way so uh, you can create a different different alarm view alarm windows as you can see and you can add the different uh, add more as you can see there's a whole list of pages you can add them but control templates monitor templates and so on and so on double graph and view media templates toggle, toggle control table uh, table templates guys explore it it's it's easy it's, for, the, for the price you pay for that little screen it is it is definitely worthwhile if you're looking for just the basics so uh oh yeah we don't so we don't want that screen so what we can do we just minus it again do you want to remove yes so yeah and that's pretty much what we're going to do that's pretty much what you can do with this uh, uh hmi we're going to jump on now on the little hmi and talk through a lot more with the internal menu from the actual camera itself so let me load this in and i'll see you there we are all loaded in hopefully i have not uh, done everything correctly so one thing we're going to do as you can see i am flashing right down there which means my uh, controller is uh off the first uh, the first you can see the controller info by selecting it it tells you what part number it is and what firmware is it and mass cycle whatever these cycles are right down there whatever reason i'm trying to get touched i don't know why so uh and then there's a controller setup in here you can more or less you can see you can set the date and time if you want to so I should be technically changing it to uh, 10 years later. Ooh, ooh, I'm not so no, that that must be default. Just here we go, just by, uh, ah, 22. We are in the future now. So yeah, this is where you are, uh, you can set up your controller display setup. In here, you can say this is, this in here is, is I'm still get, trying to head my, get my head around it. Backlight, contrast and language. So you can do that, control states, uh, select that one, it pretty much tells you what's going on. As you can see the controller, it's stopped, we want to run it, so why not, let's run it. So what did it, oh, whatever reason, our, our thingy had just gone off, and there you go, as you remember, I don't know why, I must have, must have clicked the F1 somehow. 
So as you can see, uh, uh, F1 and F2, we're gonna jump to that in a minute, is working. So, uh, and uh, let's uh, escape this one. So then we're gonna go and have a look at the controller status. As you can see, application okay, boot and IO, bus, the cartridges and everything like that. You pretty much you can, uh, can monitor your line and see what is going on. So uh, let's just get, leave that one. So, and then uh, alarm menus. Ooh, we haven't got none. Which you can add if you want as well. So you can literally do quite a lot in here uh, from, from the screen if you wish to yourself. So uh, let's say you want a uh, this SD card. There's a, there's a alarm menu. Yeah, so it's just going to go a lot menu. So uh, view. Obviously, we got uh, no alarm. So let's back it. So let's have a look at the history. Technically, as you can see, we have. A, let's click that one. As you can see, alarm popped up. We got a hello YouTube, and obviously we turn it off. And hello YouTube is 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 going off. So it tells you it gives you the full uh, list of what is going on. So let's click on home position. So uh, if we click. As you can see, it quickly pops up right on the screen. We've got alarm, and then you can see what alarm is it? Hello, YouTube. So it's just, just, just to give you an idea of what you can do, and obviously you can assign those R2s and R3s and everything like that. There's a lot more you can do. And so let's say you uh, uh, go into and you say, oh, I just want, I, um, I know the address, I know the address, and I want to interact with that and see what state it is, or even change the state if you go in the data table what you can do you can create the data table yourself so let's say add and you can choose what you want to do we're going to check out uh, i'm not sure i'm going to be playing that in the future but just to give you an idea you can you can even interact with your analog values and all sorts of things like that and as you can see the whole list is right in here so uh, what we're going to do remember that m we had that m1 so yeah percent m1 so uh, let's change that to address one no, let's delete that one. Add another one. Da, one, da. And so what you can do in here, uh, what you can do in this, is say he added it. So by clicking F1, you can see the values as well. If you want to monitor a certain amount of values, obviously you can create different windows for it and things like that. So you can have it with the screen as well. So it's really, really cool. So it's, it's a lot, a lot you can have from for the value you are buying this unit for. It's, 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 I think it's, it, it pays for itself uh, for the information it can give you to monitor and look after your systems. So let's, let's turn it off as you can see. And uh, obviously what else you can do, you can, you can actually edit and you can force it. So uh, actually there was another way, quicker way to do it. Uh, no, I can't obviously. So now we're gonna apply it. And as you can see, I just turned it on. All right, so. Uh, Obviously, that's a quite a risky thing to do, so do make sure that the authorized people uh, don't just go in and start turning things up because those things will uh, will more or less stay as they are. As you can see, the bit will stay on and off, and it will have to be unforced uh, uh, manually. So, uh, so yeah, just giving you a good idea of what the screen is all about. Definitely, guys, check it out. If you are designing a simple system, you say, no, I don't need HMR, I just need to display alarms, have an interaction with this and this and this, put certain bits on and off, there and there. Definitely, definitely, this is the guy for you. That, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, you've got some good ideas coming up and you're well on your way to design something cool and uh, interesting. So yeah, and uh, don't forget to check out all the manuals in the description if you need any information for it and everything like that. It's going to be in the description below. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel, if you like what we're doing here. And I'll see you in the next video.